Relief at last. That was what was written on the faces of the children of the late Mbio Koinange, who served as a Minister of State in the government of Kenya's first president, the late Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. This is following the culmination of a 35-year-old court battle to inherit the vast estate that was left behind by the former powerful minister. The late Koinange died on the 3rd of September 1981 without having written a will to direct who would manage and inherit his properties valued at 17.4 billion shillings. Land formed the vast chunk of the late Koinange's disputed estate with nearly 5,400 acres of land under his name. Among the properties he owned include Modera Farm, which is nearly 4,300 acres, Ehodia Farm, Closeburn Estate, 14 blocks of go-downs in Mombasa, and four second-row beach plots. The late Mbio Koinange also held interests in various companies which include British American Tobacco, ICDC, Oceanic Hotel, Ocean View Hotel, El Bagon Sawmill, Limuru Dairy, as well as the now defunct land buying company, Boy Committee. Be able to read through the entire document. But now, the High Court has finally rested the succession battle. The High Court has declared that two women claiming to be widows of the late Mbio Koinange. Margaret Njeri and Eda Wanjiro were not beneficiaries of Koinange's estate. Mode of distribution of um, the assets. High Court Judge William Musioka, the 25th judge to handle the succession case, has ordered that the two women should give back what they had acquired from the former powerful minister. The case was a tussle among four families, comprising that of Lois Wanjiro, who was the first wife, Damaris Mbio, the second wife, Eda Wanjiro, and Margaret Njeri. In his ruling, Justice Musioka held that the two were not legally married to the late Koinange. We can only conclude that they were imposters in the whole scenario. So now the right beneficiaries are only the children of Honorable Mbio, the late Honorable Mbio Koinange. With that ruling, Justice Musioka has bestowed Mbio's sons, David Njuno Mbio Koinange, and David Waiganjo Koinange the task of managing the estate and also recovering what had been lost. The two will be required to report on the progress of the estate within 19 days of today's ruling. Stephen Kimani, Citizen Weekend.